So this video is going to be all about secondary storage devices. You really need to watch the videos on the different characteristics for secondary storage and the different types of secondary storage that we have. But I'm going to put a few reminders in the headings in this table here and we're going to get right to it. First one we'll cover is our humble hard disk drive. So this is a very popular disk drive. Most people have hard disk drives in the computer still. Um, let's cover what, why. First thing to say is that so this is a magnetic uh, storage device, which means if you've seen the other video, it comes with a few characteristics we definitely know. First off is that it's quite cheap, selling per megabyte, and it's got a high capacity. I mean, this will date the video terribly, um, but the idea is right now you can probably get a two uh, terabyte hard disk um, for about 50 or 60 pounds, which is what people tend to be willing to pay for them in the main. Could be years time that will at least double, but that's where we are with them at the moment. But are they fast to access data? No, they are slow and that is a big issue with them. So particularly if you are dealing with lots of video um, or if you are playing games and loading levels, this is a problem. So you will load a level much, much faster or load your operating system when you first start the computer much, much faster if you've got a, a different type of disk drive uh, compared to a hard disk drive, which we'll come on to later. Is it portable? Well, no, it's not because it's screwed into your computer. You just have to open your computer and undo all those screws to get it. Is it durable? No, if I uh, picked that up and dropped it, it would shatter into a few different pieces inside. There's like a very delicate little head there which goes back and forth across a disk um, and that will, that will definitely get broken. But does it matter? Probably not because I shouldn't be really moving the hard disk drive around anyway. It's not really designed to be portable. Is it reliable? Yes, tends to be unless I put a great big whacking magnet next to it that if I if I leave that for a very long period of time and come back to it it should still work okay so they're hard disk drives the next lot I'm going to cover I'm going to bung a few of these together in one so we've got CDs DVDs and Blu-rays okay so these share a lot of characteristics uh, they're just sort of like different upgrades on on the same sort of uh, technology is the way to sort of think about it these are all optical which means again, they share some definite common characteristics. Okay, so they are cheap, all right? Just like uh, hard disk drives, they are cheap, okay? Capacity varies depending on what sort of flavor we're dealing with here. So CDs tend to be about 600 megabytes, which means they are good for uh, audio. You know, they, they tend to be used for music and things like that. So CDs are about 600 megabytes. Uh, DVDs tend to be about four gigabytes. So there you're talking about uh, video, you know, like a film. Film. And Blu-rays, I mean, it varies a little bit depending on exactly what kind of type of Blu-ray, but they often are around 50 gigabytes. So that's when you're dealing with your high definition videos. So which one of these you pick depends, like I say in the scenario, storing audio, you want a CD, storing DVD, video, storing high definition video, Blu-ray, you know, that kind of depends. Uh, the capacity is important uh, for choosing what kind of optical storage device you want. Are they fast? No, they're not. They are slow, just like hard disk drives are slow. If I want to access data somewhere on there, I've got to wait for a big disk to spin round and for lays to find it. It takes an age for a computer to do that because computers work extremely quickly, as you might remember. Right, portability though, this is where they have a massive advantage. Are they portable? Yes, they are. You know, they can be distributed so easily in those little boxes that we get all our DVDs and Blu-rays in. Uh, they can even be slipped into magazines and stuff like that. And because they are portable, and they are cheap this is why we still see them everywhere are they durable can I drop it well no not really if I tend to uh, put all these together you know if I put them all together in the drawer they will get scratched you know they, that's the problem if I look after them yeah of course but if I drop them um, then often they get scratched uh, or they can't be used so that's something to just think about the durability of them isn't brilliant reliability though yes I can leave them um, in one place for a long time and it shouldn't be an issue okay so we've got hard disk drives and we've gone through um, our optical storage media let's talk about two very popular types of solid state storage so first one we're going to cover is solid state drive. So this is sort of like um, the, it, they're becoming more and more popular and they tend to be replacing hard disk drives. They're not quite there yet. I'm hoping I don't need to say it, but solid state drives are the solid state type of, uh, of secondary storage, if that's not obvious. OK, are they um, cheap? No, they're not. They are expensive compared to the other two. Certainly when you're talking like cost per megabyte. So that is a big drawback for a lot of situations. So capacity of these varies. They tend to be somewhere between um, your Blu-ray and your hard disk drives. So they sit pretty much nicely in the middle. Uh, so again, it kind of depends what you're using it for. If we're comparing it against the hard disk drive, it's 50 pounds there for two terabytes. Um, 50 pounds would get you about 500 gigabytes at the moment. So you can see you've got about a quarter of the capacity for the same price. You can see um, how the, the, the expensiveness sort of goes into it. 
So that is enough to store a lot of games and really to run most computers off these days you can get away with just a solid state drive. You only really need to think about hard disk drives if you're storing a lot of data. Speed though, very fast. Okay, compared to the other two, they're very fast and that is because they have no moving parts. The other two need to spin around and that really slows everything down but a solid disk drive, solid state drive, beg your pardon, has no moving parts and that's a, that's a big advantage. Is it portable? No, just like the hard disk drive, it's screwed into your computer and that makes it important. Is it durable? Well, yes, actually, if you dropped it, it probably would still work. But again, does it matter? No, not really, because it should be screwed into your computer. Reliability, you'd say it's good reliability. There are some issues uh, with using a hard disk, uh, sorry, a solid state drive over a long period of time, writing and reading to it, it degrades over time, and it might not last as long as the other two. But generally, if you're using it for a home computer, the reliability is good enough. All right, our last one then. We're going to cover USB sticks. They are an important type of secondary storage. Let's just sneak this one at the bottom here, okay? A couple of things. If I, I need to make clear about this, you need to say USB stick or USB drive or something like that. If you just say USB, you're referring to the port that you would plug this into, but you need to say USB stick, USB drive, then you've been clear you're talking about the secondary storage device. That is solid state, okay? So again, just like the others, it means we've got some immediate characteristics. We know it's going to be fast because it's got no moving parts and it's going to be durable and that's much more important uh, for this, okay? Uh, and, it, and it's also going to be expensive as well just like uh, a solid state driver. It's capacity, these kind of vary. The most popular one that you can buy today is about 64 gigabytes, but these can go up to about half a terabyte before they start to get really prohibitively expensive. So again, it sort of depends what you're doing. Are you transferring a bit of video? Then that's fine, but maybe it can't back up loads of high definition video. Portability, this is critical. Yes, yeah, so that's a big difference between a USB stick and a solid state driver, isn't it? USB sticks are designed to be moved from place to place because they're very small. They can fit in a pocket, or they can fit in a wallet even, or a purse and they can be moved from place to place without any issues. Reliability is about the same. So they are good, but um, they should stay um, solid for quite a while. Uh, maybe if left them for years, then you might run into an issue. So there are some of the most popular devices and some of the characteristics we need to look for. Like I said, these are important. You need to remember these because these are how you need to describe different solid state, uh, different types of secondary storage. And Knowing these popular types of secondary storage will help you sort of decide which one's best for a given scenario. If you found that video useful, please hit the like button and hit subscribe to the channel. Keep learning and revising more computer science by clicking on the videos linked here.